this is a 400 kV impulse source which has got a rise time of less than 100 nanoseconds. It consists of a trolley, then power supply as well as MAX connectors, the entire discharge column and also its peaking gap. The peaking gap is right now connected to a non-inductive strip line wound resistor. The generator has a cable coming out from the rear side which is the control cable. This control cable with gas connection comes to the control panel. This is the control panel. The control panel consists of the following controls. The key switch to switch on. The high voltage on off switch. The pressure gauge. The trigger on off. The switch control and the gas release as well as the high voltage build up area. The rear panel of that consists of control voltage also it contains of tubes we have nitrogen gas outlet nitrogen gas inlet ground connection control connection and mains input the mains input has to be connected from a 230 volt 50 hertz supply to the input of this connector. This is the mains connector. Kindly ensure that this connector is connected. After the power is switched on, turn the key switch. When you turn the key switch, high voltage off button will switch on press the green button and the high voltage will switch on there is a trigger button switch please switch it on and the trigger generator will be on this is the manual switch for this trigger generator and this is the plus 5 volt pulse generator. Now, ensure that the knob is at zero. After the knob is at zero, ensure the voltage is also practically at zero. Since we did the last wiring, the voltage is showing some voltage. Now we will slowly build up the voltage by turning the knob. You can see the voltage is being built up slowly. This generator presently may fire around 15 kilovolts, which shows the output of 150 kV. At 17 kV it has fired. We will show you how it fires over here. The generator fires. The entire generator energy is dissipated in this after this test you can slowly reduce the voltage by turning the knob anti clockwise you will see that the kv will not build up now in case we want higher voltages there are pressure control knobs as we open the knob you will see the gas cavity will be pressurized to about 10 psi we will pressurize it to around 10 pounds per square inch of dry air now it has been pressurized after pressurizing we close the switch control at the bottom is the gas release valve. Now we will go up in the voltage and fire at a higher voltage. 
just turn the variac as we are going up you are seeing the voltage being built up now it's already passed 15 kilo volts 20 kilo volts Twenty five kilo volts, which means we have fired at around two hundred and fifty kilo volts, considering ten stages. We are waiting for the two hundred and fifty kV discharge to happen. with this we will make the knob zero reduce the voltage to zero though the generator is charged we may try to discharge it through manual triggering it did not trigger because the voltage was not sufficient i will also show you the triggering manually now we are focusing on the trigger electrode and we will trigger it manually with this we end this small presentation on the 10 by 45 impulse generator